The Roman Catholic Church in the Democratic Republic of Congo has been on the uh, forefront of the pro-democracy movement for decades. Responding to pressure from the church, President Joseph Kabila announced last month that he will not be seeking a third term. The church is now urging the government to ensure that December's elections are free and fair. But some church members face grave risks for their activism. And they talk to VOA about what they are demanding from the government and how far they are willing to go in the face of those threats. Chika Odua reports from Kinshasa. A special service to commemorate pro-democracy activists who have been killed and those who are still detained. The Catholic Church is a powerful force in the DRC. Nearly half of the country's population are members. They say they're inspired by the Church's steady demands for good governance. But government security forces are targeting some churchgoers ever since the anti-government protest began early last year. On n'est plus rentré dans nos familles. We did not go back home to our families. We have been living in hiding since January. For our security, we inform the UN mission MINUSCO about our movements, and some of their agents go with us whenever we go out. They are even here with us now. President Joseph Kabila announced last month that he would not run for an unconstitutional third term and appointed former Interior Minister Emmanuel Shadari to run in December. It was part of an agreement brokered by the church in December 2016, but it took a series of demonstrations for Kabila to finally step down. In February, police officers and military police entered this Catholic church compound to stop people from participating in a street march to demand President Joseph Kabila to step down. But the protest continued anyway. People walked down this very street. And at the end of it all, at least two people were killed when police fired into the crowd. The crackdown continues, with the number of people killed by government forces and church-organized rallies now up to at least 45, according to Human Rights Watch. Rossi Mukendi, an assistant professor, is among the dead. He was killed like a dog in the middle of a crowd. Even when he was very young, Rossi was interested in politics. As his relatives, we didn't agree with his militancy. We always found it dangerous because we're in Africa and we deal more with autocrats than Democrats. The government says it is still investigating Rossi's death. It also says the Catholic Church leadership is overstepping its boundaries. So let them remove their status of bishops and become politician and we run together and we shall see who will win elections we are talking of you know leading a country it is not the bishops to lead the country the bishops support the lay committee known as the clc to coordinate the church's activism the clc is fighting to safeguard freedom of expression especially in this pre-electoral context our members can't move freely at any time they can be arrested this is a sacrifice for the sake of public interest parishioners like gertrude say as long as the church leadership continues to back them they'll continue non-violently demanding for democratic change in the drc chika odua in kinshasa for VOA News.